Okay, so let's see first if we're recording. Oh yes, very good. Have we got battery? Yes, well it that is that is kind of coming together. Have we got too much boobage on the telly? Very likely. We don't want that, do we? Too much boobage on the computer, it'll never do. So welcome back to my channel. My name is Kay and if I'm a bit breathless because I've just taken the dog for a walk, so this is Weighing Wednesday, the regular rate Weighing Wednesday. It's just the background is a little bit different. You're sat in my bedroom. This is about take a million because so far I've been in interrupted by dogs, no cats, children, grown-ups, going to the toilet. We'll listen carefully. Yeah, we can hear a kitchen buzzer there. That's um, the uh, dough creation that my daughter's been doing with my husband. So what a day. What a day have I had, but I did start with a weigh-in. So that is what we're here for. If you've joined me again, thank you very, very much for being here. And if you're new, hello, welcome, stick around, subscribe, say hello. Okay, so just to bring you up to date, on the 10th of July, this morning, I always weigh in, as you know, in kilos. I've recently changed it to pounds. My scale won't do stones and pounds, so I have to use a conversion. So it's £168, down from £170, woo woo, two pounds. But when you do the conversion, it's only a pound. So I've gone from 12 stone one, I must have probably was 12 stone 1.9 or something daft. Um, and now I'm 12 stone on nose. So I really, 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 really need to not be 12 stone. Yes, I do. Um, been middling around this area now for three weeks, but that is very typical of me. It took me, I went for a long time, I was at Plateau City um, in the 78s and the 77s there through January and February, but it has come down. So yeah, starting off in January at 82.3 kilos, I started on the 9th of January because I'm late for everything, including today, it's nearly tomorrow. And now I am 168 pounds. So that is, that's pretty good going. Of course, I would like to be, I'd like to have lost 10 kilos by then. So going down from 82.3 kilos to 76.2 kilos now. So I've got another four kilos, 0.3 to lose. Yes, that'll do me nicely. <sighs> I'm trying to lose three of it this July because we've only got half of August because we go away then. And of course we're going on my Disney holiday. So if you're following me on Instagram, you can look at hashtag Disney diets, but you'll get all of us if you go on hashtag slay like bouquet. You should find me pretty easily because not only that is my not only is that my hashtag, it is actually my username as well. So um I don't tweet, unfortunately. I do have a Twitter account somewhere, I've forgotten what it's called. Um, but I, don't, I very, very rarely use it because um, I'm all about the pictures, the boring pictures, the pictures of the dinner, which included corn. If you remembered last week, I said I was going to try and cook like different things. So this week I've cooked with tofu, which I have cooked with once before. And I must say, I think I did it right the once before. This time I just kind of used it as stir fry, I dried it off as much as I could put it with a seasoning that's ready made, it's like a paprika and garlic seasoning, and then treated it as a stir fry. And although it was all right for me, and it was all right for the kids, and they all ate all of those, hubby wasn't so interested. He said it was a bit like eating fire lighters. So it worked, fair enough. Each to their own, I guess. We won't be having that again in a while. So this week we're going to be cooking with artichoke, which will be very different for me because I've never really cooked with that before. But I have done a week's plan and that was in my July, my July goals. And if I can find them, I'll update you. These rocket books are great. I've only got about 10 pages in them and I still managed to lose stuff. So we've got, oh, here it is. So, June, we had used the editing suite, which I'm now doing, using the camera, which I'm now doing, not brilliantly well, I must say. Can't figure out how to put a mic on this thing, but I will figure it out eventually. Um, and then I put on an eBay video and I finished my dissertation last month, that's all done. So July this month it was to pack, so I have started packing. I've got the last few bits and pieces. This dress actually is to wear at California Grill and I think it's a little bit lilo and stitch-esque as well. So I'm probably going to wear it to Polynesian. Um, and then it was 
about trying to get some money as well so I went on to eBay put a few things on eBay did a video about how to eBay which has nothing to do with weight loss and everything to do with trying to make money to go to Disney um, and so far I've made £19.34 so that should buy a turkey leg I think the giving exchange rates because I've not got my foreign cash yet because um, the dollar is so incredibly falling against the pound. I think it was one pound, one pound fifty four to the dollar last time I travelled, and now it's something like one pound twenty two, and it's probably just going to go further down. So I just don't know why I just don't buy. But there we go. Um, and I said last week I was going to go to a ladies' day, which I did manage to do despite having that horrible sore throat. I felt a lot better by the weekend, and then. I've been back to the gym this week as well. So it's been fantastic working out with Emma. I've not seen my other workout buddy Nikki this week. She's been really busy at the other end of the day. Dead, dead busy working working every hour that God sends because she's coming up to school holidays and she works school time. So um, it's, you know, we've missed her in the gym, but I'm sure she'll catch up with us. Um, and then, so I've planned my week out which has been a really good idea i haven't planned out next week yet and i kind of need to shop my cupboards as well because the other thing i was doing was doing a weekly budget and this week we have mm, yeah it would have been all right if i'd remembered all the birthdays that happened this month i keep forgetting birthdays i won't mind i've got a spreadsheet it says birthdays on it and i got my brothers and i got my sister-in-laws and i got my brother-in-laws and forgot my own so and considering we have a joint bank account it's not going to appear from nowhere is it so yeah so that's that really so that's this week so for next week i've got kind of fairly cheap and cheerful planned so the first thing that i've got to do is i'm going to figure out about figuring out how to get these into my plan and into my packing i am thinking of doing a packing video of course i am but as i have now more or less packed it does seem a shame to undo all my cases since nobody's allowed to touch them because they're, they're packed so even though i kind of need stuff that i've packed i've been going no you can't go in there um so well we'll see shall we if i do that video so if we do it's a bonus if i don't then i'm not crying about it so over the next week is this week is all really about getting ready for the holidays i don't know about you but these kitty tinkles they are ready for their holiday they are more and more tired more and more shattered and they are ready for holes they've started to fall out with their friends and i think they've just got really sick and tired they're all looking forward to next year the eldest doesn't want to be in her year anymore and the youngest is looking forward to his new teacher and they're both looking forward to the holiday of course they are and we're looking forward to having them off on holiday as well because they're just getting really tired around the edges um so this week we're about getting ready for next week there's a lot of rehearsals going on for my eldest she is in oliver next week so i can't wait to see her it's going to be absolutely amazing so we're going to go and see her and it's rammed in on a school day and a work day so by the time we get to the end of next week we're going to be we're just going to, we're going to want to go to sleep that's what we're going to want to do um but we've got some um some of the local um the local theme park planned for both kids so that'll be really cool but we're going to do like a clean up of the beach um like a local clean up of the beach where you actually go and you just kind of go as a volunteer clean up the beach in the morning and then we all go for a coffee afterwards which is nice and then um this weekend i don't know whether i've got time to do it but my youngest has decided that he wants a tortoise not a clue like i have i'm yet to do an internet search but i have found out where they are selling them so i thought he could go down and he could have a look and we could have an investigation of how we're gonna sorry my finger's killing me um how we're going to um how we're gonna look after a tortoise uh, the first thing that i googled was how long how long do they live and they said like 50 to 100 years so it's quite a lot to expect a young lad but he's the one that really wants it and to be fair you know he has said he'll wait until after his holiday which is 
sensible um but then i've got 50 years worth of holidays to worry about and i'm not quite sure i don't know do tortoises and dogs get on um yeah we've got lots of questions to ask about that so we'll watch this space i suppose for tortoise scape so um we're going to maybe go down and see about that but there is also a local country fair on you know where they like show um anything from rabbits to cows and do tracks pulling and things like that but i've had a sneak look at the weather and it's it's not looking too promising it's not looking too promising and i really do like country fairs as well putting our wellies on and going around don't mind a little bit of drizzle but if it's absolutely persisting it down then maybe not and um, the youngest has got a school trip next week and so has the eldest so they've both got school trips so it's planning and prepping for that and then finally finally next week they will be off school and the summer holidays will be in swing and when that happens i have a funny feeling that i will start feeling a little bit more like i am near in my holiday at the moment it doesn't feel very real I can feel that I'm getting excited, but it doesn't feel like I'm really, really getting for going. I think when I finally, um, you know, put in the food order for the food lounge, do that final ring round, make sure we're okay for the hotel, um, get the get the dollars in, and make. I've been making sure like things like the emergency emergency credit card, which I, I think we end up kind of freezing and doing all sorts with while we're there um, but they're always handy because the last time was that I actually managed to lose my phone on Avalanche the roller coaster so I was kind of a bit bereft really without it and we ended up getting walkie talkies of all things and um, which were helpful in knowing where each other was but it meant we had to have code names and everything which were yeah it was good fun but um you did look all right pillock they're studying Walmart going, um, lemon cheesecake, come in. <laughs> it just, it, yeah, over and Roger and all that stuff. It was absolutely hilarious. I think the boys liked it more than the girls anyway. So, um, yeah, we will be charging up the batteries for that. They're still coming on the next trip. I'm not going to get away with it. It was the first thing that he said, going to pack the walkie talkies, aren't you? Not going to pack any clothes, going to pack any, you know, like, hair stuff i'm not gonna pack any shoes no you're gonna pack the walkie talkies aren't you so and i've just got really mundane stuff to do like make sure that all the um battery chargers work you know for the for the um you know the special what do they call those oh I'll tell you, it's the end of the day can't think what do they call those the little power banks yeah little power banks i need to make sure they're working because i've not used them since we last went to um theme parks which is ages ago now um and i've actually come across um whilst i was looking for my microphone for this i've actually come across my tiny little old camera so i think i'm going to charge that up see what's on it and then see if i can't maybe get that onto ebay i don't know why um why i had I've been hoarding it really. I found it at the top of the wardrobe. I was like, oh, that's snazzy. Um, I've, I've absolutely forgotten that I had it. So that's going to go on to eBay. And I've got a few more things to put onto eBay this week. So, as always, quite busy. Trying to get my hands better as well. They really are starting to be a pain in the bottom. Well, pain in the hand. Actually, it feels like somebody's hammered my hand tonight. But I've been doing an awful lot of work. As you can see, because I'm not in my car, it's been just so busy that um, I'm having to do this dead late and my uh, yeah my hands feel like they're in ribbons because of all the computer work I've been doing today but it has been an odd kind of week to be fair it's Wednesday and I feel like I've done a week's worth of work already so I'm really glad there's no extra shifts booked in for this week because I'm absolutely shattered I need a good sleep so that's me I'm going to run myself a bath I'm going to have a nice sleep and that will be me snoozing until the morning and i've got my book to read so it's actually off to the side of there i've been tidying up so you can get on camera honestly the shape i've had when i started recording this video it was still light outside i've had to close the curtains and walk the dog since i started so that's my week in view and my last week reviewed i don't think it did too bad um, and if I do that next week again, I will be on plan to lose three kilos this month. You remember, I think ages ago, I said we were having like a weekly weigh-in at work. 
and well basically I lost we all put 20 quid in and I didn't win and the lovely Maria won losing nine pound which is absolutely fantastic for her absolutely well done I just wish it was me of course but that's that's the way that cookie crumbles or maybe I shouldn't have eaten the cookie and then I could have won but I will uh, keep you posted as to the next one because we're going to rerun it from now until the middle of August so that's always a good thing to do because it means we cheer on each other at work and today I actually noticed instead of biscuits and cake which were still there there were also oranges and apples so that was quite nice because I could just slink away with my tangerines so that was quite fab I really liked that it was a good idea from someone it wasn't my good idea but it was a good idea so I'll see you in a week's time if I don't see you before I'm thinking I'm vaguely thinking of doing a um like what I eat in a day video I know one of my colleagues kind of YouTube colleagues chit chat paddywhack said about doing a what do I eat before way day so if I can get my act together I'm sure I can plan that I've got a whole six days so well that's me I'm done thanks very much for tuning in do like and subscribe because it really helps my channel and I will see you next time have yourselves a good week bye